We made it to Switzerland and it is just as beautiful as we thought it would be. We came out to an area that has a little restaurant just on the side of a mountain. The only way that you can get to it is either hiking, which it's raining, so we're not doing, or cable car. And so the cable car station is right here. As a matter of fact, there's one coming down right now. Oh, there is. Where is it? There it is. You can take the train here. It's about a two hour ride from Zurich or we just drove and it was a very lovely drive. Yeah. So we're gonna hop on this cable car and go up. We'll see you there. Yeah. To the top now we have about a 20 minute walk to Escher to the restaurant and um, I don't know it, I imagine it might even take a little bit longer because the path is wet things just seem to take longer wow, when it's that. raining but check this out this is our view right now it's oh. amazing <sighs> gorgeous absolutely gorgeous oh my gosh it looks like we're in Switzerland. We enjoyed stunning views of the Appenzeller region as we made our way from the top of the mountain towards the Escher Cliffside restaurant. After about 15 minutes, which would probably just be 10 minutes under normal weather conditions, we came upon the Wildkirchli Caves. They say that humans lived in these caves several thousand years ago, and truth be told, the introvert in me may have been sizing this up as a possible future home, though with its current popularity, it's probably not isolated enough. We continued on and we saw this really cool chapel called the Hermitage that's built into the side of the mountain. They actually still hold church services there and were setting up the benches that day after likely having them put away for the winter. Soon after that, we rounded the corner and came upon the Escher Cliffside Restaurant. What a sight to behold. This place is literally hanging onto the side of a mountain. We made it. Look. Restaurant on the side of a mountain, you can see. And from what I read, I have not fact checked this yet, but I've heard that this is over 170 years old. So it's been here a really long time, has changed ownership as recently as 2019, I believe. And their menu looks fantastic. So I hope the food is good. I'm go hungry after all that, <laughs> yeah. all that, you know, hiking the over here. 20 stuff. minutes Gosh. downhill. Oh, it's terrible. I know. Whew. Oh. Thank God. <laughs> See you inside. Because we primarily travel in the shoulder seasons, there were only a few other people in the restaurant when we got there, and by the time we finished, we were the only ones there. And as much as I loved being able to have some solitude, I think it would be really incredible to go during the peak tourist season in the summer and see people from all over the world who've made the trek to visit this hidden gem. In case you're wondering how they're able to function when they are so remote, they get supplies either through the cable car that we took up to the top of the mountain or by helicopter. The food was phenomenal. It was excellent. We got a cheese tart with the Appenzeller cheese, which is made locally, and beef ragu. Yeah. I don't know what they call it in German, but that's what it was. Almost like a beef stew. And yeah. Oh my it was good. <laughs> So good. And, and I highly recommend it if you come out here to try it. It was excellent. And I got a, you got hot chocolate. And I had a coffee with a local liqueur in it. It was almost like a licorice kind of flavor. It was pretty good, but not if you don't like black licorice. So now we are starting the trek back up to catch the cable car down the mountain. It'll take us at least 30 minutes to go back up. Yep.
we got back to the car and now it's raining a lot. Buckets. Like, don't go hike in Switzerland and think that you're still going to look cute <laughs> when you get back to the But car. it's great cardio. We timed it right because the clouds have all kind of settled down into the mountains even more and so you really can't see much of anything when you're up there it was yeah it was like no visibility yeah even the cable car on the right on the way down we couldn't see the cables it was pretty cool though if you're afraid of heights that's time to go now we can go check in <laughs> at our hotel and take a shower yeah you're gonna nap you're yeah. gonna nap on the way back yep. <laughs> we'll see you wherever we end up next Awesome. Bye. See ya.